Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're unable to read from the source file or you're experiencing disk errors on your Windows computer. So whether it's an external media source or it's your main hard drive, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving this issue without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So what we're going to do first is address what drive we're having the problem with. So you open up File Explorer, so you have a little folder icon down in your taskbar, you want to go open it up, or you could search for it in the Start menu search, and then you want to select this PC on the left side. Take note of whatever your drive you're having the problem with, and it's in parentheses, so local disk where Windows is installed on, usually it'll be the C drive, could be a different letter, but you take note of it right here, and then if you had other drives that you're having the problem with, you could just take note of them as well. So just take note of whatever drive letter is in parentheses, and take note of the little colon too, that's always important, you know, you have to add the colon in. So, anyway, open up the start menu, type in CMD, best match, should come back with a command prompt. You want to right click on that, and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now, we're going to type in CHK, DSK, space, and then whatever drive letter we're having the problem with. So, in our case, it's the C drive, followed by a colon another space forward slash f so again chk dsk space and then it's a uh, drive letter c colon and then space forward slash f exactly as it appears on my screen here i will have this in the description of the video as well you want to hit enter on your keyboard to run this so you will have to restart your computer more than likely if it's a drive that windows is installed on it won't let you run it concurrently while the operating system is running so we're going to tap the y key on our keyboard hit enter and now save and close out of any open programs and applications you have and we're going to go restart our system here
Okay, so once your computer has restarted, hopefully that should be about it, guys. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.